After getting the frightening call that her child went missing during the school day, one eerie mother shares her emotional story, hoping to bring change. Jade Leah Burns joins us now in the control room with much more. Jade. Sean, two strangers say their parental instincts kicked in at the right time. These are Stacy and Anthony, and they found him, and Stacy told me that um, she caught him. He, she had to run after him. She said she was in flip-flops and everything and had to run after him before he went into traffic. She really knew he was in danger. She knew that he was not supposed to be outside. He was way too little to be outside. Not all Did heroes wear capes, trick? but some are the moms and dads that we love the most. Tiffany Thurber was having a normal day at work when she received a call from the vice principal of Perry Elementary School in Erie School District. Thurber rushed to school once she was told that her four-year-old Ashton went missing and was brought back. She told me that the kids were outside playing and the teacher and the para were bringing them back inside and they did a head count and I guess there was a little confusion on the head count so they recounted and they were like no it's correct. Ashton was found about a half mile away wandering down West 30th Street by two good Samaritans who stopped him and called the police. I would help anybody's kid. Across Raspberry, Cascade, Elmwood, and he was about to cross Melrose, but I stopped him before he got to Melrose. He told me that he was hiding at the playground. And I said, really? Figured maybe he was coming from Perry Elementary School. According to Thurber, Perry Elementary did not know that he went missing before police called the school to say that they had found him. We reached out to the Erie School District regarding this and they released a statement to us that says, All appropriate measures have been taken to address the situation. Student safety is and has always been our primary concern. Thurber hopes that the school district makes stricter safety precautions so that a situation like this does not happen again. Perry Elementary does not have a fence around their playground. A uh, fence would definitely be something that they need. Parents send their kids to these schools thinking that they're going to trust them to keep their baby safe. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine sending my kid there after this happened. Thurber ended up keeping Ashton home from school today after the shock that made her feel like the school isn't safe anymore. Sean. Jade Leah Burns in the control room tonight. Thank you, Jade.